Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to add a theory I recently came across by a YouTuber named The Theorizer. The terrifying truth about The Wizard of Oz. His channel is linked down below in the description. I recommend watching that one first. In his video, he talks about how Glinda the Good Witch is really an evil mastermind behind the events that took place in The Wizard of Oz. After watching his video, I got to thinking, well, what about Oz the Great and Powerful? I sat down, watched the movie, I compare the Wizard of Oz, Oz the Great and Powerful, with the theory from the Theorizer. Then it hit me, Glinda is not the only one behind the events that took place in the Wizard of Oz, but had help from the Wicked Witch of the West. The Wicked Witch of the West faked her death as part of the plan. Before I get into this, I should inform you that I'm going to use the names of the witches, and this will also inform you more about the witch who was killed by the house. Yes, plot twist. She is a big part of everything that goes on. We know Glinda as the Good Witch. The Wicked Witch of the West is Theodora. And the Wicked Witch of the East is Eva Nora. Eva? Nora? Evil? Evil Nora? Wow, no shocker there. The reason why I'm using the names of the witches, it will make it less confusing. And plus, Eva Nora is the main reason for all of this. And I mean all of this. See, Eva Nora kills her father. Also, the father of Theodora and Glinda, obviously. By poison. The blame was put on... Glinda as the evil witch of the story turning the people of Oz against her and almost her own sister until the wizard showed up. When the wizard showed up to Oz, he was greeted by Theodora. Complete accident, by the way. Well, she falls head over heels for him. And even Nora knows this. And she uses this to turn her against the wizard out of jealousy, thinking Glinda and the wizard have something going on. Theodora, knowing she has a temper, it's a perfect plan. <laughs> After the wizard defeats both of the sisters this is not your doing and should you ever again find the goodness within you you are welcome to return then everyone lives happily ever after over time hatred starts to slowly creep in and take over glinda from even nora killing her father and the people of Oz turning against her, Glinda starts to plan a scheme, a most devious scheme. First, she would make amends with her sister, Theodora. I mean, she's the main key to this whole plan. She would convince her with a plan to rid of Oz from the man that broke her heart and kill even Nora for ruining their lives. They would plan the precise moment their sister would be in the land of the Munchkins to, to drop the house and kill her. This would be the right time for Theodora to show up and scare Dorothy, giving Glinda the incentive to mentor and guide Dorothy to Oz where Oz would tell her to go get the witch's broom, where she accidentally kills Theodora with water. Since there are no more evil witches, the wizard does not have a reason to stay in Oz anymore and can leave freely. I mean, if a witch killed the wizard, it'll cause an uprising, but if he leaves freely by himself, everything will be okay. Leaving Oz to Glinda and Theodora to rule. Oof, that put a twist on things big time. Perfect plan, I might say. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Until the next video, peace guys.